The Information Commissioner's Office is investigating claims that the personal details of an 87-year-old man were sold or passed on by charities up to 200 times. According to a report in the Daily Mail, information about Samuel Ray, who has dementia, was also passed to, to conmen. He lost £35,000 to fraudsters. Mafuz Sadiq reports. The retired Army Colonel Samuel Ray has been a generous donor to charities. But in turn, it seems they were not so good to the 87-year-old man who suffers from dementia. The Daily Mail reports that his personal details were passed on or sold up to 200 times. Charities called him more than 730 times. All this because apparently he forgot to tick a box two decades ago in a survey that stops his personal data being shared. His son, Chris Ray, has told the BBC he thinks the charities were selling personal data. Charity companies were selling the data not only to the, each other, but also to anybody really who'd pay for the data. And uh, this is where we, we think the scamming companies got his data from. Samuel Ray ended up spending more than £30,000 with catalogue companies, money that he didn't have sometimes two or three boxes a day, piling up in his study and then in the dining room. The Information Commissioner, Christopher Graham, has said this morning that under the Data Protection Act, personal data has to be processed fairly and lawfully. If the law has been broken, then, then, then we will act. If the criminal law has been bro uh, broken, we will prosecute. If it's a question of a breach of the Data Protection Act of a civil variety, we could impose a, a, a civil monetary penalty of up to half a million pounds. But we've got to complete the investigation before we uh, d decide what we're going to do about it. But he did warn of the danger in unfairly turning charities into the new dirty word. According to the Daily Mail, the animal welfare charity RSPCA was one of the charities that contacted Mr. Ray over several years for money. A spokeswoman for RSPCA strongly disputed any claims that they deliberately target the elderly or vulnerable. In July, the government announced plans to change legislation to help protect vulnerable people from aggressive fundraising and launched a review into the current system of self-regulation. David Cameron said the actions of some fundraisers were damaging the reputation of the charity sector. Mahfouz Sadiq, BBC News.